Okay, let's talk about what it is we're building today and uh, draw a little bit of sketch here because uh, I don't have a drawing. But basically, like I said, it's a stripper pole on a box. Uh, what it is is um, we're literally just building a box like that and out of the middle of it a piece of one inch round mechanical tubing comes out of the middle and um, it I don't actually this can be any shape that we want it doesn't have to be a box but the original one was a box and it was 11 and three quarters that way and then it was 19 and three quarters square that direction and then um, it has leveling feet underneath and then the pole itself is uh, 96 inches from the surface of the box to the top and what it's for is uh, and we may not get a I may not bother taking a photo or if I do I, I, I don't know I, if I do I'll uh, put a photo of what the end thing is at the end of the video but she has these uh, she calls them rocks. They're, they're these uh, hollow terracotta objects that look kind of like stones. They've been glazed and they stack. They're all hollow and they have a hole in the middle of each one and they stack on top of this in the form of some sort of little uh, this abstract uh, piece of uh, art. So uh, that's what we're doing. I, like I said, this doesn't have to be a box, but that's what it was before. That's probably what I'll do now because it's just easier to build. Uh, it'll have a, a, a framework inside to, hold, to support the structure and then, uh, yeah, so uh, let's get started. <laughs>
right, I made a box. This is a uh, 18 gauge cold rolled sheet metal. This is actually uh, leftover from the flag project, but I uh, uh, just, it didn't work too bad. Um, it's not real fun welding this stuff, but um, anyway, I'm gonna call it quits for the evening. I actually did some other little tiny project for the wife before I actually started that, so. It's kind of late in the day, and I don't want to start grinding it right now. And then we got to build the substructure that actually supports everything. So, be back out tomorrow. my post it's a one inch mechanical tubing eighth inch wall uh, a little over eight feet long and then the base we built right here um, 
I don't know how long that clear coat's going to last because it's going to be setting outside. And sometimes clear coats don't do real well outside unless you get really, you know, like even automotive stuff. Uh, but um, anyway, that's it. Um, I gotta I gotta deliver it, and uh, there it is. We gotta deliver it. I don't know either. I might deliver it uh, probably tomorrow. She wants it for Thanksgiving, which is uh, you know today's. If today's Tuesday, that's the day after tomorrow. So uh, I got to get a hold of her, see if she's actually going to be around to receive it, and uh, I'll try to remember to get a picture of it once it's all put together, so you can actually see what it is. But uh, at this point, it just looks like a stripper pole. So, anyways, till next time. Bye.